here to do the laundry. <laughs> With me. New Snuggle Fabric Softener. Snuggly softness that's less expensive to use. Clothes feel so soft. Towels feel fluff, fluff, fluffy. Hmm. Everything smells snuggly, fresh as can be. And look, I control static cling. Love softness, then you love me. New Snuggle Fabric Softener. Snuggly softness that's less expensive to use. As children, I think we all had teddy bears, and their names ran the gamut from Mr. Fuzzlekins to Stinky Butt Poo Poo Head because, I mean, let's face it, not every child is great with names. Teddy bears went everywhere we did, and we slept with them for comfort and to protect us from the monsters lurking under our beds or in our closets. But one teddy bear protected us from so much more. He protected us from unclean fabric, the horrors of unwashed laundry. In 1983, the company Henkel Corporation brought to market a brand of fabric softener called Snuggle, launched by the company Unilever. The product came in varying forms, as do most fabric softeners. Of all the industries to try and break in on, fabric softener seems like an odd one. While sure, it's something everyone uses, the already enormous amount of brands that existed must have been overwhelming as competition goes. But see, Unilever had one trick up their sleeve. That trick was an adorable bear. search of a new scent. Snuggle didn't settle until he found that clean, peaceful fresh that only comes after the rain falls down. Oh, <laughs> Introducing Fresh Rain Snuggle Fabric Softener. Since 1983, Snuggle Bear, who has yet to be given an actual name, so is still just called Snuggle Bear, instead of something genuine like Fred or something, has been the mascot of the company, or rather specifically, their line of fabric softener. Created by the man who has this single best name of all time, Kermit Love, who, as it turns out, worked making Muppets for Jim Henson, Snuggle Bear was originally voiced by Corinne Orr. A fun fact about Miss Orr is that she was the only voice actress for literally every single female character on the English dub of the anime series Speed Racer, up to and including Speed's girlfriend, Trixie, and the voice of his little brother. Look, the amount of cars beginning to slow down. It's too big and heavy for this mountain road. Maybe now we'll get a chance to catch up to it. I think we'll be safe now. The path we made will be too narrow for them to follow us on. Frankly, if I'm Corinne Orr, I'm not sure which I would want to be my legacy, a talking laundry bear or the voice of every girl on Speed Racer. Of all the voices you've done, which are the most dear to you? Sorry, Peter, I love Snuggle the Bear. I love, I love Trixie and I love Sprite. Those are my favorites. You, well, you did Snuggle more than, longer than you did any other voice. Yeah. So it's not, you don't need to, you don't need to apologize for loving Snuggle. <laughs> Corinne Orr is now 83 years old. She's lived a full life. In a 2006 radio interview, possibly because Orr had grown too old, Mickey Dolan stated that he was the voice of Snuggle at that time. And then by 2009, Snuggle was once again revoiced by Elena M. Schloss, a New York animation and commercial voice actress, which seems like a good fit given her career choice. Before we move along, I'd like to point out that Mickey Dolenz, who voiced Snuggle, was in fact a vocalist and drummer for the 1960s pop rock band The Monkees. This is true. Believe me, I cannot make up stuff as stupid as this. Tonight, never before heard, <laughs> Broadway Monkees. <laughs> This morning, I'm living on my dreams. 
Growing up with him, Snuggle Bear was an inescapable, cheerful nightmare. You'd think you'd be prepared for a Saturday morning of cartoons, and instead you're greeted partway through by this sentient, walking, talking bear who, for some reason, sexually or otherwise, is in love with a bottle of fabric softener. According to a quote from Alexis Crusay, owner of Serendipity Consulting, which specializes in mascot marketing for brands, and he was cuddly. He cuddled the sheets, the towels, and even the brand. Look, I'm no slut shamer, but I think it's time perhaps Snuggle Bear attended a therapy session in regards to his unresolved issues concerning touch deprivation. Clearly, he's got things that need to be resolved. When you get to the point where you're hugging a beach towel as if it were a person, it's time for intervention. Humorously enough, Crisay goes on to say, you've got to be careful because if you try to make it cool, the public won't respond. Clearly, the makers of Chuck E. Cheese did not get this memo. In 2001, 150,000 stuffed snuggle bear included with the sales of the fabric softener were recalled because the pom-pom on his nightcap could detach, thus posing a choking hazard to small children. And then in 2002, 4 million more that had been distributed were recalled when they were deemed a choking hazard to small children because the eyes and nose could come off. Perhaps these incidents were what led to snuggle bear giving up his life of sweetness and instead embracing the life of someone cooler, someone a bit more dangerous. Tanks for Nintendo 64. Explosive tank action for up to four players. Battle tanks. In 2003, yeah. Snuggle Bear himself was diagnosed with coolitization when Unilever decided to drag him away, kicking and screaming from his love of laundry, and instead plopped him down poolside in Rio, wearing fashionable sunglasses and helping towel off a woman in a bathing suit. New York Times' Stuart Elliott says he went from being Care Bear to being Devil May Care Bear. Crisay herself was stated as saying, in response to this drastic change in tone and direction, this has nothing to do with fabric softener, and when a mascot resonates, you need to stay within the realm. So come 2014, Snuggle Bear popped right back up and was back doing what he was best at, sexually assaulting your laundry. It's worth noting that Snuggle Bear has over 7 million followers on Facebook, and he tweets daily. It seems Snuggle has overcome his illness and defeated it, coming out victorious. Snuggle Bear exists in a weird gray area of fame because while everyone recognized him and he was subjected to many parodies over the years, he never reached the same stardom as, say, Spuds McKenzie. Still, he existed for a brief moment in the starlight before being tossed back into the washer, rarely to be thought of again. A lot of mascots end up worse off, is all I'm saying.